Now, I mentioned it last week that we're going to be seeing Ryan Garcia when watching Gervonta the Tank Davis. In that video that I wonder why people thought that Ryan could even beat the Tank. The Tank was so juicy, I now can see no chance of Ryan ever beating the Tank. But I also haven't seen Ryan. So, in this video, we're going to get to know him a little better and see if it changes my mind. Let's jump in. Now, oh, he's fast. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's the fast. American dream needed a face, then boxing supernova Ryan Garcia would get the spot up front. The 24-year-old lightweight and an Instagram sensation Golden can Boy already Junior. give any champion a head start in popularity. And when it's time to put on the big gloves, King Rai always keeps in mind that if you ride a throne on the entrance, you must command the ring like a king. Ryan Garcia in the way. <laughs> wow, he's and fast. Then, okay. Yo, he's fast. I don't know With if he's strong, but he's fast. With 19 knockouts and 23 pro appearances, he is still undefeated and continues to chase his goal, an undisputed world title. I can do this whenever I want. There it is, though. Intimidating. He is big in. Oh. And yeah, he's it's fast, a perfect bro. moment to zip through the meteoric rise small, of Ryan though. Garcia, an enthusiastic driver of his own hype train. To Ryan Garcia, you're young. Body shot. Ooh, the body shot. Wow. Okay. Let's see. I'm still. I still don't have my Ryan mind changed. Ryan was born in August 1998 in Victorville, California. His father set up a gym in the garage and instilled a love for the sweet wow, science so into the seven-year-old boy. A former boxer became the son's coach and is involved in the training process to this day. So is the child prodigy's mother, who handles business Family affairs. Family business. Under his parents' careful guidance, Ryan began exploring the mysterious alchemy of a knockout. The roots also oh, played a role. Every time he the sheer speed, unrivaled by his peers, got him the nickname Flash. Was oh, that his nickname, Flash? Yeah, he's fast, but the key though. to upcoming success was his natural punching power, which would really? manifest itself in the future. But is it the more Mexican chin than the did not let down either. Unshaken during 10 years as an amateur, the young phenom amassed 215 wins with 15 losses and captured 15 national titles. <laughs> We'll see if it changes my mind. So far, I'm still on Team Tank. Garcia certified his fists as weapons and moved into pro boxing. Wow. The performance in August 2016 against Jonathan Cruz, the fifth in total and the first in the United States, was a short walk in the park. The adversary found himself on the floor twice in the second round. Maybe it's the video. I'm not seeing anything. I should have watched him before Davis. I have higher expectations now. The fifth minute of the fight became the last. He kind of looks like just like a kid. Ryan quickly attracted attention and soon signed with Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. In his debut with the organization, Yo, he the opponent him. managed to make it through the opening stretch even after a heavy drama. blow. Big bright smile. California on his face. drama. Ask him about Ryan Garcia. Oh, he stunned Martinez. Go, oh, right, he's been in some battles in his career. Martinez needs he's going to take it back. I'm not impressed. But the I second mean, we'll put see. everything in its place. Pro prospects, Hector Tanahara, especially there he goes down. A second round stoppage. In the next shootout against Devin Jones, Garcia's counter game proved to be an unsolvable riddle for the antagonist. I don't, I don't like his technique. I don't like his style. Again, that's the recklessness right there. I, still I don't think see the juice. Fight Club, first edition of the month of March. Perfect. Things got worse for Devin as time went on. Man, he, he certainly looked like he, and yeah, a good I don't know, nothing, he nothing. His fourth collapse drew a grim conclusion to the confrontation. The Ryan Garcia in the white, and there it is. Right. It is over. Bravo Tai is junior. I, mean, I watched the GGG and the Tank Davis, Javante, you know? A streak of across the board victories I felt something here. elevated the prospect's profile to new heights. I don't know. In May 2017, the, the length of Tyrone Lucky was supposed to be a real test. However, misfortune dumped Lucky seconds into the bout. Intimidating. He is bitten in. Yeah, he's fast though. I'm gonna give that to him. He's fast, Lucky but I don't right like his technique. Got cut. Following you guys let me know how you guys feel about him in, uh, in the comments section. In the second, 
King Rai was dismantling the rival so thoroughly that the ref got nervous on multiple occasions. To the head power in that right hand as he does with the hook. But he's fast. I'm going to give him that, but I don't you know, see anything he has a killer impressive. The climax I mean, was not long in coming. From that the right fighters I saw. the legs. Yep. Lucky. No. No. Oh, Russell Moore like stops it. He's a modern day social media. He does a great job. Another short night at the office became Garcia's ninth W and eighth career finish. Well, knockdown. Let's get another angle of it. Big right hand. Towering at 5 feet 10 inches in the 130 pound weight class, Ryan had an edge in size over most opponents. But against wow. an experienced His face Mexican, 5'5 so Mario Macias, the disparity was too Oiled much. Up. The American sniping shots connected from an unreachable distance. Low left hand. Yeah, he's pretty tall, Mike actually, in this category. He's like lean, lean small, but tall. And, speed and, and there he goes, Garcia's down. And fast, down. very fast. The blistering speed manifested into a stoppage at the two-minute mark. Stopped numerous times. The, this is nothing that new That stung him, and it is over. Not and impressed. First round KO Not impressed. For Ryan Garcia. I mean, obviously he's a better boxer than I am. He's professional. To a former WBA I'm just comparing contender. him to the other in people September, that I saw. In September, Garcia reappeared in the fighting capital of the world, Las Vegas, versus Miguel Carrizoza. King Rai promised to make a statement, and yet reality surpassed even the boldest expectations. I see both guys now having a oh. How quick was that? Was that? Fast. Less than 10 seconds <laughs> into the that was fight. Fast. Wow, nice. That was Upon fast. Upon rising from the dead after Yow. a right hook, the Mexican got reburied with the left. What's my name? Referee says, got a soft Yo, shot. again, I didn't see that. Two Yo. punches. Okay, I'll give him that. Garcia. Very fast. What? Taming the enemy with just a couple of punches, Ryan fully justified the nickname Flash. Yeah, Big left. This 100%. Is a, this is Yo, quick. This breakthrough knockout also made him a North American junior super featherweight champion within WBC. In your Sports featherweight. Top 10. During the next half a year, the newly crowned champ defended the regional belt two times. Against Cesar Valenzuela, Garcia spotted an opening for a signature left hook. Man, I can do this whenever I want. Wow, there okay, is he's fast. You can. He then I don't feel power, to soften but up fast. the Mexican. He's got a vision for I mean, himself. I how do you feel power through a screen? Until I'm eventually just running out of patience. Go after I felt it from all the other catches. fighters. Yeah, he's he fast. Right, okay, he damn, he's fast. Him. Sensing blood in the water, Ryan rushed to get a knockout. Best punch of the night, and he gets caught, and he's about to get he seems more like an influence fighter, though. And it's a knockout. It's a... a short finishing sequence convinced the referee to intervene. Like a kid. In the next title clash, King Rai headlined an event for the first time. I don't Confronted know how people by a veteran Javante of 50 battles, lose. Fernando Vargas. Uh, seen or watched boxing Garcia found the lethal distance halfway through the initial stretch. It's still fast, so... At the end of it, speed decided the outcome. From Ryan Garcia... This. Yo, it's combo, man. He went bang, bang. Yo, okay. Lighting Oscar De La Hoya's eyes with dollars, Ryan jumped into the promotional bandwagon's driver's seat. Yeah, they had and that's drama. The In May of 2018, Garcia challenged for the second North American regional belt. This one, WBO associated. The vis a vis was Jason Velez with a record of 26 and 4, with 18 knockouts. I don't know who At the outset, Velez I mean, tried to put pressure Ryan. and punish the young talent's torso. I want him to think. Well, he's got Frida Kahlo. Ryan, on the other hand, tried to keep the favorable distance and fire back. Ryan Garcia connects with the yeah, nice reach left. Soon, Garcia caught the right rhythm and began delivering counters. Garcia has to figure out with that right uppercut that I'm missing. I don't know, like his style. Go a little weak, and I'm here comes Ryan Garcia. He said before. Midway through the match, he seized control completely. And that's his observation of Ryan Garcia as he lands two overhands right. Big right. Now the priority was damaging the body, since the Puerto Rican's head was tough to crack. Velez. Forced to open up, Velez ate a couple of hefty offerings. And Velez tried to get aggressive, and he's offering. paying the price here in the sixth round. Nice left hook from Ryan Garcia. I don't know, man. I don't know. Unload his power. Ah. The following rounds were entirely dictated by Garcia, who outstruck the opponent two to one. You got to change up. You guys think it's the video? 
is not showcasing his ability because I don't know, man. It seems very Ryan flimsy. Ryan spent the closing episodes in a Doesn't shooting like gallery sharp. and won a dominant decision. That GGG was nice. Oh, big right like hand Ryan Garcia. Ryan! He seems very frail. Velez was the first to try to give a rising star a run for his money. But the prospect successfully completed the trial by fire. Look at it, he's a 19 year old from. In the ensuing performance, Ryan moved up to 135 pounds, a more suitable category for him. However, on September the 1st, the gritty Carlos Morales taught him a lesson. King Rai was outlanding the Mexican going forward. Oh, and it looked like it was too early. I could have won this fight. A nice shot there from Garcia. The blood seems Garcia was more successful off the back foot as well. It's kind of a goofball. And oh, a quick right hand snapping. Yeah, maybe he has better forward. Times, I just can't see it. The jab would penetrate his defense. I can't see his footwork. Well, I don't know. Well Whoa, he caught one. In the seventh round, Morales spiced things up and caught the flash. He's he's a, uh, a very Whoa, defensive fighter. He, he likes to buckle. counter Hold more. Maybe that's Ryan why. Garcia has lost his momentum. From that moment until aggressive. the final bell, Ryan was mostly backing away. Despite Morales, like he has been, took another big shot. Sporadic single shots How were Garcia's only success. I know he was undefeated uh, when he was fighting Javante, so I'm just right Unless there's Garcia. a knockout? Experiencing an emotional roller coaster in a close fight, King Rai displayed toughness and did enough to take the victory by decision. I don't know, I feel like this is one of those things in that I don't know if you want or not. Subsequent to the bout, Ryan switched camps and joined forces with Eddie Reynoso the coach of Canelo Alvarez. As a bonus, he got an opportunity Ooh. to fulfill a childhood dream, at That's least in cool. sparring. Favorite fighter that I would want to be? Canelo, Sergio. First, I want to be Canelo. OK. <laughs> when he gets old. <laughs> In December of 2018, Maybe that's Garcia he was welcomed to the Canelos. ring by Braulio Rodriguez with a record of 19 and 3 with 17 knockouts. The brash Dominican instigated a conflict at the weigh-ins. After executing a ballet pirouette at the outset, Rodriguez quickly found himself performing a chicken dance shuffle. For one of the outs, he's good hook, and Rodriguez goes down. That fast. Yo, he spent bad. the rest of the round in survival mode. And Rodriguez is rocked. Right hand Yo, by that, Garcia. Those shorts look like gladiator shorts. You know those gladiator skirts that they have? What survive. is going on, bro? What? What is this? Later, Braulio tried to compensate for the lack of boxing skills with theatrics. Yo, he is not fun to watch. Ryan is not fun to watch. He impressing me. I mean... <laughs> He wasn't shy of bending His the rules either. His opponents are also wow. He is game. Fire Be effective. I don't think so, but it might be. There's that looks low. There's a certain time you... Ryan stoically tolerated on? the rival's pointless Clown antics. Show. He was clearly targeting what? highlight reel blast. I definitely don't yeah, like this, this guy. This is what I expected. Rodriguez trying to weather the... I don't know, man. It's not crispy on the oh, technique. Yeah. That's just me. An outsider who doesn't know boxing. Emerged, that's just my the opinion. The game was over. But I don't know. There's something about him I'm just not... Hard and right hand. Feeling How did he weather that? Another one. And a hook. And down he goes. Like, it's his head movement. He, 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 he has his head forward and the way he jerks around. I don't know. Having punched the counterpart through the ropes... I've seen a lot of uh, up and -comer boxers ended 2018 right on a high note. Two belts in two and a half years. 14 out of 17 opponents tranquilized. Hundreds of thousands of fans were salivating, and millions were on the way. Stopped numerous times. Uh, this is not I guess we don't see, like, maybe the prime Garcia? Oh, no, we do. More video. The last stop before the lightweight title it shot like was Jose ending, Lopez. You know? I got your in March of 2019, he promised to bring fire and fury into the ring. The Puerto Rican overestimated his own refractoriness, and the end of the first round went to Ryan. It's a flash. Okay. A shootout in the corner that got my kicked blood off the up. second. That got me jumping. My heart rate's there. The instructions Garcia got in the corner was to keep his hands up after he threw a combination. Measuring know, with the left, Garcia delivered thumping right hands. I'm really interested to know what you guys think about him. Can't eat too many I do not Lopez. feel nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's one right on the ear. Boy. Finally, a strike over the top wobbled Lopez, and King Rai went in for the kill. I have no idea how anyone thought that this guy could be Gervonta Davis. I'm still 
Not impressed. I am shook. Javante is a different beast. It's not that he knocked them out, it's the fact how Still he got seen knocked double. out, man. Jose refused Front to continue. Tonight, over Jose Lopez. Maybe seeing the bodies million? hit the floor is By wild. By finishing the clash early to go home and see his daughter, who was born a week earlier, the happy dad earned daughter? Canelo's approval. After a seven-month break, Garcia entered the ring versus Romero Duno Hi. with a resume of 21-1 and one with Hi. 16 knockouts. You can Two lightweight it. belts, North American within WBO and WBC Silver, were on the line. The reigning Filipino knew a thing or two about moving forward, but as Ryan's counter started landing, yeah. Romero's crown began to slip. Spectacular KO it there. seems it's like he's a counterfighter, uh, a counterfighter. He In the middle of back. the opening lap, Garcia a lot of his completed opponents are the aggressive. demolition with a protracted assault. He has got a like he's aggressive here, but like he likes to like move back, right hand, that get the person to come forward, and then he'll kind of counter right now, he Like he's passively right aggressive. Yeah, like I saw that knockout like nothing. I, like okay. Duno took the wrong pill sure. and fell down the rabbit hole while King Rai was rocking the shiny strap. Nothing. Garcia! All right. He performed only once in 2020. In February, Francisco Fonseca, a three-time world title challenger, tried his luck. Maybe that's why board the films didn't make a movie did not get the yet. message when he was first rattled by Ryan. No views. Up to face the top fighter here. Whoa. Davis. He's fast though. The next blow was all she wrote. He's quick. Disposing of the enemy in 80 seconds, Garcia disappeared for a whole year. Quick During this period, move. his TikTok and Instagram yeah. would regularly gain millions of views. Yeah, this is when I kind of heard of him. I didn't even know he was that like that good of a boxer. I thought he was just like for show. Like, yeah, he just does this. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like that. That's that's him. That's the more return impressive in January than his 2021 bounce. took place against a UK native, Luke Campbell. The Olympic gold medalist had recently lost to Vasily Lomachenko in a title scrap oh, and this was guy held looks in high regard. Still, Ryan was one step ahead in the first round due to the active use Ooh. of the right hand. I want to see that guy. That was a sick coat. Luke's hook only landed a couple of times. His experience, of course, with the body work. A left hook from Campbell. Kind of got a smile from King Rock. In the second, Flash opened up even more willingly. Well, look at Garcia heating up in the corner. He seems more entertaining as an but influencer. But it was the Brit who delivered the hardest like shot. his content. It seems like he wants to... Oh, the kid sits the kid down! Yo, the kid got dropped, bro. Did Javante Davis Garcia ever get to dropped? Get back. He, he won put this, emphasis though. on body work. Campbell had to have gone knocked out. The There's no way that he wins this frame, match without a knockout. The fight turned into a back and forth affair. Oh, wobbles. Dude. However, a lead hook to Campbell's dome almost closed the show. This is a good rock. Oh, he's right. Over the left hook right at the bell, and Campbell was ready to go This, I think, the first time I saw, like, the actual main character in the, in, in the video. The like Brit found his doom fight. in the seventh. Eddie Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, your young body uh, shot is ready to go down. Yeah, I knew it. Ryan King Ryan Garcia. Okay. Dang, okay. After failing to cash in on the knockdown, like he's Campbell good, crumbled under I, a vicious blow to the body. Mm, he, he doesn't Garcia, make it. Your young body shot. This showing became the last of Luke's career. Where the other, uh, better than other fighters. Maybe it's a weight class too. I mean, Gervonta now. Gervonta was unreal. At the unreal. same time, Garcia claimed the coveted WBC interim belt and improved the unblemished record to 18 knockouts in 21 appearances. As per tradition, he was out of competition the following year. This time, due to an injury to his right hand. The breaking news of February 2022 was another camp switch, as the famous mm -hmm. coach, Joe Goosen, took Ryan under his wing. Why Boxing fans camps? know him from the camp? legendary moment during the fight between Corrales and Castillo, which marked one of boxing's greatest comebacks. Back. 
Jeez, they, they're both swollen. It's like they're both allergic to bees. And they got stung. The return to the ring took place in April with Emmanuel oh, Tego on the other side. Now. The former IBO up. champion from Ghana was on a tear of 32 victories and a single loss 18 years prior. Will he be? Warming up in the first, Garcia turned it up a notch in the second. In the corner, that shook Tego, the right hand right to the temple. Kind of short circuited him for Emmanuel. I didn't know Ghana had boxing. Flash dropped the rival with a right. To knock down Tego. Huh. I think Emmanuel it's the first time I've seen break, a Ghana boxer now. The star of the show Very continued cool. to have success pressing and countering. Ooh, Confidently building Ghana up a lead, he would occasionally Boy. explode with long combos. Is that his combos. nickname, Game Boy? And that's where Ryan Garcia will land his solid shot. I don't know. Garcia's technique Outlanding the adversary is not something I enjoy. King Rai kept piling on his favorite body shots. Maybe it's because, like, I'm not... Towards a the professional end, boxer Garcia's or right found home. maybe I don't know, have enough no, knowledge about boxing, but I just don't like his style or technique. Just preference, personally. Trouble. But clinching for dear life. But he's giving him an escape route, so. The victim stubbornly refused to fall. Right there was a one-two. Lead right hand by Garcia. I think he surprised and opened up. Having survived the final spurt, the African took Ryan the whole 12-round distance for the first time. Hands while he's punching. And hey, so that's, that's, when he, that's when he's most... A comprehensive deconstruction by decision mm. against a very experienced opponent Nothing. marked Garcia's return to big boxing. Go! In the wake of his victory, Ryan refused the idea of sitting on the bench. In July, he wow, faced he a really former WBA champion, Javier Fortuna, with 26 KOs in 37 wins. I knew wins. he was tatted on the chest, but I just realized he's tatted step in where you inside bicep. Fortuna, oh. bomb away on Lozada, and this one is... The experience Wait, is Dominican blurred, promised to interrupt stand, the American like... celebrity route. Yet, Garcia shut off his advances, thanks to quick and heavy single shots. Right now, I think he's, he's showing a little bit too much respect. Yeah, he's really tall. For, the speed of for his division, he's that really tall. Right hand down the middle. And there's that check left hook. And oh that's my god, his oh, back is tied too like that. Later, the flash unsealed the patented combination. Sword with two crowns? <laughs> he let the hands go up and down. That extra weight. Ooh, that one got around the gloves. Yeah, that's just gonna turn it into a hook now. Realizing the straight punches on that. And made Javier take a knee in the fourth round. Oh, it's a yeah, body shot in the proposal. Desperate, Fortuna backed away and started Yo, to get shots. lit up. There was another one. <laughs> you see Garcia's... I feel like with liver shots, you just need to hit oh, nice with enough power, the not a lot, but enough power in the, in the right fifth. spot, right? It doesn't take a lot, right? Javier fast, placed trust know. in Hail Mary attempts. Ah, I don't know, I don't feel it. Well, Ryan stumbled, I'm just being Sue honest. Exposed himself. I'm on, like, he is, but guess what? People I'm not a boxing professional. I'm not a boxing historian. I'm an Olympic taekwondo athlete, giving my honest opinion. Garcia's left hand couldn't miss the body. I'm not feeling it. And the head. I don't view him as anything special. The third was just a chef's kiss. Boom! You he's good, in, he's fast. Mixed. King Rai makes the biggest statement of his career to date. At 24 years old, Ryan Garcia has already established himself both as a pro athlete and as a self-promoter with a net worth of millions. Although a popular YouTube channel and Instagram account do not make one a champion, this braggadocious high achiever could care less about the rankings. Yeah, he's Ryan a good is in person. his right to call out any champion, because star power overshadows official regalia nowadays. Moreover, yeah. Garcia's not just a showman, he was born to fight. Yeah, I feel like he's just like a businessman. He's a, he's a brand, he's the product. Very good showman. Are you supposed to close your eyes? I feel like he closes his eyes a lot. But if this is the end of the video, I don't know. He's more of a product than a than an athlete to me. Ryan Garcia in the white, and there it is. 
If you liked the video and want to see more boxing content, punch the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. Thanks to Ryan Garcia. Good video, both. I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I've discussed Ryan Garcia a lot in the video. I know you guys don't like me talking much during the video, but I couldn't. Uh, I was not impressed too much about his uh, on his knockouts, on his technique, on his style, but he does have that speed. His speed, his boxing speed, that's crazy fast. That's impressive, but I personally feel he's more of a product than a boxing professional. He is obviously a boxing professional, but between those two things, I think he's more of a product of businessmen, a showman. He's there to make money, make millions, and, and retire young. But compared to the other ones, I see them more of a pure athlete. Gervonta Davis is an animal. GGG, even though he doesn't think he's a monster, he's a monster. They're exciting to watch. I'm very impressed with their technique, their style, their power, their aggression, the way that they finish their opponents. Uh, but I don't really see that from Ryan Garcia. That's just coming from me, my honest opinion. I don't try to over over exaggerate anything i hope you guys can see that but that's it on the video i'm looking forward to your guys's comments down below let me know if you guys are a fan of ryan garcia because personally i'm not but if you enjoyed the video hit that like button subscribe if you're new and we all know we'll see you guys on the next one cheers for now <laughs>